This is a tire pressure monitoring sensor or TPMS. This small bolt right here attaches the valve stem to the sensor. It doesn't actually read anything from the valve stem. This is just so it has a place to attach to in the wheel. This hole right here is where it actually encounters the air from inside the tire, and that's where it senses the pressure. This is the portion that sticks out of the rim, and this is where your valve cap goes on. Let's remove that portion first. All right, there's the screw that came out, and this just slides off, and there's the stem. When you fill your tire up with air, you put it in here, and it doesn't come out the bottom, it comes out of this hole and this hole. There aren't any screws that hold this case together, so I'm gonna have to break it apart. Interesting, it looks like these are melted together. All right, the actual sensor is on a microchip. I'm gonna see if I can get this chipboard off. This is most of the plastic case, and as you could see, by comparing them at most of the size and, well, most of the weight too, is the battery that actually powers this thing. Although they obviously don't design these to be serviceable, the battery in here is a CR2032, which is actually a very, very common battery size. Odds are, if you can remote unlock your car, it's got one of these batteries in it. Not all of them do, but 2032 is a very common battery for remote keys. You look closely at it, you can see that there's little dots, two here and two here. It's actually slightly tacked on into place so it doesn't get loose. Since we have it apart, let's see why this thing went bad. First, let's test the battery out. And 2.9, that's just shy of three. This thing's supposed to be a three volt battery. It has some resistors knocked off here, but that might have just been when I took it apart. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about electronics to do a pin-by-pin -pin test to see how this failed, but hopefully this satisfied your curiosity about what these look like on the inside. If this is your first time here, I've got better disassembly videos that I'll put in the description and the end card, so check those out.